My name is uh, Jobotino Nyango, and I run a business in uh, Ruaka, a landmark plaza, a men's shop. Uh, this business, I started it in uh, way back in 1999, uh, somewhere in Buruburu. I've had my ups and downs in my business. I think I've failed like uh, five times, but uh, still hoping that I can do something about it. Uh, when I started it in uh, 1999 in Buruburu, uh, it was uh, at the roadside. I was selling woodies and, uh, and, and uh, track suits uh, for the touts in Buruburu, uh, 23, route 23 and 58. Uh, then after a couple of years, uh, I left Buruburu. That was in 2008. I went to Outaring. And in Outaring, I stayed for around um, uh, three years. And uh, in Outaring, I, I decided to take a shift and do ladies' wear because the men's wear wasn't performing well. So I stayed there for quite some time. I faced some challenges. Then I realized uh, I needed to do something uh, different. So I went back to Buruburu Phase 1, where I got a small shop. Uh, I was paying 3,000 shillings in that shop. Uh, I didn't have money to pay for that shop, but by faith, I, I just decided to take the shop uh, where I paid a deposit of 3,000 and uh, 3,000 rent. I stayed there f since uh, 2011. And uh, I left Buruburu in 2014 when uh, the business started uh, going down again. Uh, things were not adding up. I was really struggling. Uh, by then I had expanded the business, uh, the menswear. I, I opened the menswear, I had an impressor shop and I opened the ladies wear. Since uh, uh, there were so many frauds uh, with the impressor shop, and I lost uh, a lot of money during that period uh, through con men, con women around. So I decided to close the uh, men's shop and the Mpesa shop. And uh, then I gave up at some point. I left Buruburu in 2014 and went to Ruaka where I had to start a new life. So in Ruaka, that was in 2014, um, I, I got a small container, then I started my business there. But uh, during that period, uh, that container was just a store. So there were no sales, I wasn't making any sales. But I started to follow up on my former customers in Buruburu. So I used to do deliveries in, uh, in, uh, in, in the city center. Uh, then at some point, I realized that the sky is the limit. Where I wanted to be, uh, that is where I ended up being in this building, uh, Landmark Plaza, in 2015. And since then, I've been having my ups and downs. At some point in 2000, uh, in 20, 2017, I opted to close the business again because things were not adding up, the rent is too expensive. But uh, when, I, when I started, uh, at th that time I was running a late, only a ladies shop. So I decided to open a men's shop. And the men's shop uh, uh, at least was, uh, I was making something. So I was able to pay the ladies shop and the men's shop as well. And um, by 2019, uh, towards the end, uh, since the shop was at the farthest end of the building, I was given a shop uh, that was near the entrance and at least things started adding up and I was making sales, making profit. But the challenge during that period uh, since was uh, uh, the period during the pandemic, uh, it was uh, hard because we were not able to get to restock the shop because uh, uh, the, the, the supply during that period wasn't easy. 
but the Lord saw us through. I started my business way back in 1999. After immediately after clearing school, uh, I realized my parents were not able to uh, further my education. So instead of uh, just staying at home, since I lived uh, in uh, uh, Jericho, where uh, crime was the core of, 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 of that area during that period, so I decided. I'll do something totally different uh, that uh, many uh, would not understand. At first, uh, when I started uh, the business, many, were, many, many felt like uh, I wouldn't go further because the in thing there was uh, to enter into crime, alcoholism and drug addiction. That was the in thing at, at, at that particular area. But myself, I had uh, love for fashion since my father is very fashionable uh, my father worked in a, in, a, in, a, in a clothing shop in the city center and I followed right after him because uh, he loved being smart always and I think I took after that so that is what led me to uh, the clothing business and I, I, I decided to uh, my late sister led me somewhere to uh, Boroburu where I had to set up a structure and start displaying my merchandise. So um, I did that for a couple of years and uh, it was good. Uh, since then life was not uh, so, uh, so as difficult as it is nowadays. Um, I, I had, I, I used to sell, in fact, there's a guy, in, in fact, let me take you back a bit. Uh, there's a friend of mine who was uh, selling, he was a newspaper vendor. So he would give me some newspapers, I put on the road, sell. Then after selling, I would rush to Gikomba and get a few hoodies and bring them to the estate and sell to the neighborhood. And that is the idea, that is where the idea of, of having uh, somewhere permanent came. And my late sister led me to Aburuburu. That is when I started uh, the business with a friend called uh, Patrick Musioka then. So we did that with him for a couple, uh, for a couple of years. And uh, as a side hustle as well, I, was, uh, I, I used to play football, uh, which I used to get some little money. So that is what boosted my stock. But the initial amount that I had to start this, uh, the, 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 the business, I can't tell because I didn't have money. So I started with something small since things were very cheap in the market during that time. So I would go for woodies, um, get a woody for around 100 shillings, 80 shillings, and sell it at 200. That's how I, 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 was, a, I was able to raise capital for the business. Uh, so I did that uh, for some time until the year 2007-2008 when uh, things were not adding up. Then I decided to leave Buruburu Feswan roundabout and uh, I, I went to uh, Outer Ring Junction. Then at Outer Ring Junction I did my business there for about three years. A friend of mine connected me to a colleague in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the city center. That is when uh, um, uh, the, uh, her colleague, uh, I used to take clothes to a colleague like uh, three times in a week. And uh, I would get a good amount of money out of it. Then the idea of having a permanent place came up. So I left Outer Ring in uh, uh, 2011. Then I went to back to Buruburu Feswan in a, in a small shop. 
uh, that I ran business there for, uh, for, for the next three years. Then things started, before things started going haywire, um, I, I had expanded the business whereby I had an Mpesa shop, I had a menswear and I had a ladies wear. But because of the corn gains in the Mpesa industry, uh, I decided to close the Mpesa and the men's shop so I would remain with the ladies wear only. And then uh, at some point there were not sales, there was nothing moving. So I felt like giving up. Uh, so randomly a friend of mine had a pickup and he was just passing by. Then I had moved to Ruaka in 2014, first June. So when this friend was passing by, I, I, I just called him. He came with a pickup and packed my stuff and left. Uh, that's how I left uh, uh, Buruburu and decided to do something uh, different in Ruaka. So in Ruaka, I, 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 will, I started my business in a container after some time. And uh, there were no sales during that period. So I had some customers who believed in me that I, I would take my staff to their uh, offices in the city center. And uh, that's how I was able to raise some capital to start a new business. By that time, Roca Landmark was coming up. So when, uh, when, when, when I started taking uh, these things to them and coming back, I used to make some little money. So uh, when, when uh, I came to Roca Landmark, met with the owner, talked to the owner, he decided to give me the shop, but the amount was too high because you are going to pay for nine months and I didn't have the money. So a very close friend uh, gave me some amount of money, like 120,000 shillings. And, and uh, even me, uh, through my small hustles, I was able to raise a certain amount of money. Then I started the business in uh, Rocka Landmark Plaza. I did uh, that from 2015 and uh, by 2017, during the electioneering period, things were tough again, and I was in the verge of giving up. But uh, I held on to God and trusted God that things will change at some point. So you are making very little money. Uh, you are able just to pay rent and uh, nothing much. Uh, we struggled since 2017 and uh, until 2019 for two good years of struggle. But we never gave up because I knew there is a God in heaven who can do wonders, miracles. So at some point I decided to throw myself in the deep end and went back to the owner of the building again and told her that I needed another shop, which I never had the money. And, and since I had favor with her, she told me to get the shop because during that period, she was very busy doing some things. So she told me to get the shop and do my thing, then we'll discuss later. That is where the idea of starting a menswear came up. And after starting the menswear, within a short while, there was a, the pandemic again. But I realized in Ruaka, most people are young families and most people are in the office throughout. So they never bothered to shop. And I, uh, during that period, I think that is when uh, people realized they didn't have clothing. So people started coming in. Uh, I got my customers through um, the, the, right opposite my shop, there is a barber shop, and that's how customers used to come. Because myself, I don't do online. I don't do. I, I depend on referrals and people seeing whatever I have in my store. Yeah, so uh, that is where I got my customers, and I was able to survive in 2019 and 2020, beginning of 2020. And 
I get my stuff in Gikomba open air market. where if you if you want to shop you're sure to get that look you want you know a few shops you go and find they strictly do like tacky dresses uh, but in, in a few other places they strictly do official outfits but here at uh, Jobino collections you find uh, we we it's a blend of it's a cocktail of many clothes you find official clothes you find casual you find uh, uh, evening dresses you find uh if you want to go you you, you want to go for for a holiday you you find whatever you you actually want to the outfit the perfect outfit for you to actually uh to actually wear you find like before you had a baby it's so it was so much easy for you to actually wear a pair of jeans a well-fitting top but after you become a new mom for some women it's so difficult to do the same style so at Job Jobino Collections, we have a variety. Like this is a pair of chino pants. It's a, it's a, it's a stretch. So, um, so, so, so sometimes we actually co combine, uh, com combine a few outfits for, for 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 such women, especially especially pants which i would uh, actually advise uh women who had babies and had ha have issues with their body shapes to actually do such so um, yeah jobino collections are uh, it's home for someone who who actually is finding for the perfect outfit uh, regardless of how you feel if you had a baby my name is diana I'm a fashion stylist at uh, Jobino Collections. Um, I love fashion. I love uh, styling people. And just to see people look beautiful makes me feel happy. more personal we love our clients we want them to feel comfortable we want them to feel to feel beautiful regardless of their body shape and sizes I would like to encourage someone out there that uh, um, someone said life is a road with so many signs and basically most of the times an idea might crop up in your mind and uh, you don't know how to do it but I think I'm, I'm that kind of a person who when an idea comes I act immediately don't procrastinate just act the little that you have Believe in yourself and trust your God much. And the rest is just history. God, God will do wonders. God does wonders. 
So if you believe in God and believe in yourself with the little that you have, the rest just leave it to God.